So if we could just have you please introduce yourself. Okay, my name is uh, Captain William Turner. I'm the battery commander of, uh, of Golf Battery. Golf Battery, and uh, what battalion are you with, sir? We're second battalion, 11th Marines. Okay, and can we just have a spelling of your first and last name, sir? Yep, uh, W-I-L-L-I-A-M, last name Turner, T-U-R-N-E-R. And uh, can we just have a hometown for marketing purposes, please? Sure. I'm from Lake Placid, Florida. Awesome. Um, so first off, sir, could you just uh, give a brief explanation of uh, what the battery is uh, out here doing in 29 Palms? Sure. So right now, uh, the battery's been out here for about three and a half weeks. We spent the first week uh, uh, out here by ourselves without the rest of the regiment or the division coming out uh, in support of a, a different exercise. We're supporting Expeditionary Warfare Schools uh, Combined Arms uh, OFEC. Uh, after that, the uh, the rest of 11th Marine Regiment came up and we did a, a DES FireX where the 11th Marine Regiment uh, executes its ability to do fire support uh, and, and uh, timely and accurate fires. Now we've moved on to the last portion which is a di division exercise called Desert Scimitar where uh, the division headquarters is up here with 1st Marines and 5th Marines uh, and all of 11th Marines supporting. Okay, and uh, have you guys uh, been staying in the same place the whole time while you've been out here or have you guys been moving around, sir? Yeah, we, so we've done a lot of moving. Uh, over the last three and a half weeks, we've been uh, pretty much uh, almost every training area out here in 29 Palms. Um, and uh, being moving around like that, sir, um, it's obviously important for the Marines to get from point A to point B. And um, I was talking to Corporal Castaneda, the only uh, mechanic in the, in the battery, um, how important is it to have uh, a Marine like him um, if, say, if a vehicle was to break down? Uh, yeah, huge, huge benefit. Uh, so in artillery, we always talk about our ability to move, shoot, and communicate. Um, you know, if I can only do one of those three things or two of those three things, I'm not able to, to do my job of supporting the, uh, the maneuver element. Uh, so we rely very heavily on our ability to move. I've got uh, 22 total vehicles out here, most of which are pulling either a trailer or a howitzer. Uh, and, uh, and I'm doing it, you know, mostly across rugged terrain. You know, we, we use the, the MSRs, which are just an improved dirt or gravel roads, uh, some. Uh, and then we do a lot of, you know, movement through wadis and across some pretty rough terrain to get into whatever position uh, we can best support the, the infantry with. Uh, so having a, a mechanic within the battery makes a, a huge difference for us. Uh, Corporal Castaneda, as you mentioned, is our only mechanic in the battery. Uh, so every single vehicle that goes down gets broken. Uh, it's Corporal Castaneda that comes up, uh, you know, QCs it, figure out, figures out what's wrong with it. Uh, if he can fix it, he's the guy that fixes it. Uh, if he can't fix it, he's the one that gives the recommendation for us to, to get rector support and, uh, and get a higher uh, echelon of maintenance in here to be able to fix it. So a huge, huge benefit to the battery. Uh, Corporal Castaneda uh, specifically also does a lot for us uh, prior to an exercise. So, you know, the weeks leading up to an exercise when we're back at Camp Pendleton, he does a lot to get our trucks ready. Uh, I, I brag on him quite often uh, that, you know, I'm one of the only units in the Marine Corps that consistently makes it between 29 Palms and uh, Pendleton to and from without ever having the vehicle break down. You know, um, just unheard of. But it's all based on uh, Corporal Castaneda and the rest of the Motor T section uh, and the batteries operators doing their job, looking at trucks, uh, making sure that, that they stay up and working. And then, uh, you know, a lot of late hours from Corporal Castaneda going back through all the trucks to make sure that, uh, that they're going to get up here working. Yes, sir. And what is that like as a battery commander having to um, sort of rely on a corporal to ensure <laughs> Not just to have a, a Marine who does average at his job, just to have such a good reputation. What's that like having to rely on him to, and know that you're going to be able to get your Marines from point A to point B, sir? You know, it's, uh, it's really easy as a battery commander, uh, as, as long as you have good people, and I do. I have great people in, uh, in, in every key billet at this battery. Uh, and, and Corporal Castaneda, being my one and only Motor T mechanic, uh, he's a great person, and he does a great job. You know, great Marine uh, at, at that billet, uh, great Marine in general. Um, so, so it's it's pretty easy for me as a battery commander, having great Marines, to be able to rely on them. Uh, but like I said, I do heavily rely on them. You know, it's it's Corporal Castaneda that makes the call on uh, if we're fixing a truck or if we're, we're towing a truck out. It's Corporal Castaneda that makes sure that makes sure that our trucks are, are ready to go, and, uh, and and that we don't have many breakdowns. So yeah, I rely very heavily on him. Um, uh, I don't know if you can, uh, but if you could do do your best, sir. Um just trying to uh, tell me, like, um, 
how do you think uh, Corporal ne Castaneda feels like being the only Marine out here, being the only mechanic, uh, having all that on his shoulders and being able to do his job so well? Uh, I think he likes it. I think he, he thrives on the responsibility. Uh, you know, he's a, he's a, a proven mechanic, but he's also a proven leader. Um, he, uh, he, he is, a, uh, is soon to be a, a sergeant, meritoriously promoted. Um, because of how good he is at everything he does, um, but but specific to being the only one, uh, I think he thrives in it. You know, I think he'd do well leading up a, a section of other mechanics. Uh, I think he'd do very well, but uh, but I think he most thrives knowing that he's the one, the guy. You know, if if, if he messes it up, there, there's no one to back really backstop him, uh, and I think he thrives off of that. Um, and last question, um, if you could just tell me your best, uh, how long. Since you've known um, Corporal Castaneda, um, if you could just describe what kind of a Marine he is. Okay. Uh, I took command of Golf Battery uh, in July of, of 2012, so I've had them about nine months now. Um, uh, Corporal Castaneda, you know, was uh, very highly regarded by the last battery commander, uh, and uh, so, so I knew coming in that he was a good guy. Uh, and, and that was the reason why, you know, out of all the mechanics in the battalion, he was the one guy chosen to stay uh, in Golf Battery to be the golf battery's one mechanic. Um, uh, that's based, uh, you know, at the time I was based pretty heavily on his ability as, as a mechanic. Uh, since I've had the battery, since I've had Corporal Castaneda, I've also had gotten a you know, great opportunity to be able to see his leadership. Uh, in the absence of my Motor T Chief, who's a Staff Sergeant, uh, Corporal C Castaneda runs the section. Um, you know, it's Corporal Castaneda running uh, all Motor T operations for the battery. Uh, anytime staff sergeants out on other duties, uh, and, and he does a, a phenomenal job with that. Excellent.